Hi, it's Mayor Walter Senzik, and I'm here to provide an update on some of the construction that's going on around the city. There's been a lot of people who have either sent me emails or I've bumped into at different events that have asked what's going on at the old Hotel Du site or what's going on at Queenston Street. So I thought I would just do a, a quick update video that talks about some of the major projects. So the one that people have been talking about, the old Hotel Du site, is site is currently owned by a, C, a company called Seasons and they are entering now phase one of the development. It'll be a, a large scale development that will include older adult living space and so we're expecting to see work on that site this fall and our staff is working very closely with the company as we look to redevelop that very important part of our community. Now over at the old other hospital, the old general hospital on Queenston Street, we are working with the new owner who has been with our planning department looking at different options that they can pursue on a very large piece of, of property in the heart of our community. Uh, we're looking forward to some definitive plans that will be coming forward shortly that we'll be able to share with the community. But I got to say the current company is working very closely with our staffing department, with our planning department and things are moving along. Over on Church Street, which was, I believe, the old natural gas building, the consumer gas building, and we often refer to it as the, the black building, that one is undergoing a redevelopment currently. There's a company that will be looking to turn it into condos. And so again, they're working with the planning department who is actively examining the, the plans and making sure that it all fits within the community, but we're looking for that addition to take place quickly as I know they're starting to work on the building as well. Now down, down at the other end of our downtown, 111 Church Street, so council has approved the development of an affordable housing building there in partnership with Pantera and First Ontario and Bethlehem Place. So there's still some steps to go through, but the planning department and the company are working very close together because affordable housing is an important part of creating a whole community and we're very focused on moving that project along as quickly as possible. Down in Port Luzi, Fortress has held a, its own open house where a lot of members of the public were able to come and take a look at the new designs that have been presented. We will be having an open house, our planning department will be having an open house later on in September and that will be the official open house for the public to provide input to staff as well as they examine the plan. So that's an exciting opportunity for us to see a future development that can be taking place in the heart of Port Luzi. Now over on Carlton Street, the Niagara Regional Housing Build that's taking place on Carlton Street, 527 Carlton is going along very well. Uh, the building is starting to come out of the ground. This is a, a, a way that we're, again, building affordable housing in our community. Construction should be complete by late 2018 and we're looking for 85 new units that'll be in there. We have 5,000 people on our waiting list. Uh, this is just a small uh, impact that we're having, but any impact is a positive impact and we're looking forward to that build in our community as well. So we have a lot taking place. We have the opening of, of, of St. Paul Street is now wide open, so I encourage you to come down there. It looks beautiful, uh, but there is a lot of construction that's forthcoming. That means jobs in our community. It means more living space in our community, and it'll also mean more potential commercial space in our community. And one last one is the one right across the road, 110 James Street. I just want to give a shout out to Clickback, who purchased the property from the Niagara region that is going to become a, techno, a, a technological hub for us, a digital hub. Uh, there's a company, Clickback is an amazing company doing great work. So as you can see, there's a lot going on. I will continue to provide these updates because you're looking for seeing how St. Catharines is growing and we're showing you how it's growing. So until then, have a great day.